Hello and thank you for viewing this presentation. My name is JP Hebert from Elphic Networks and I will give you an overview today on how to make the internet work for you and this presentation is going to last only a few minutes. Today's businesses uh, are facing two challenges. Regardless of business focus, geography, or business type or size, the same two challenges are found in almost every organization around the world. The first one being maintaining internet access. Uptime is critical for any organization. Um, downtime will cost sales, will cost productivity, will cost reputation, may cause liability, may cause SLAs to be uh, enforced from a penalties perspective, and so on. Organizations, uh, according to research, should brace themselves for about 67 minutes of downtime per month, and that's on the average. Uh, organizations in some parts of the world or certain geographies uh, should expect more than this amount of downtime. The second issue that organizations are faced to deal with is the internet and the new media-rich content that is available pretty much everywhere. When you look at news sites, informational sites, product sites, vendor sites, government sites, uh, YouTube, Facebook, and so forth, you are inundated by rich media, online video, rich applications, flash applications, and so on. And those types of environments are now causing links to be a lot more saturated than they used to be. So the traditional business paradigm of using a single T1 or E1 for most organizations is no longer even functional. How do we solve those two issues? The first issue I wish to tackle today is the downtime part because that's the critical one. No internet, no business. That's as simple as it can get these days. What we wish to introduce as an idea is risk mitigation through carrier diversification. By using multiple ISP carriers, using multiple ISP carrier technologies, organizations will be able to bring a far more redundant, resilient uh, internet access strategy uh, to make sure that the internet is always up and running. A uh, common example that our customers are using is a T1, a DSL, and a cable modem. And with this connectivity paradigm, you, your organization can ensure that even if like, carrier link 1, 2, or 3, or even 2 of the 3 fail, you always have one more link to fall back and make sure you're still connected. Wireless options are becoming more and more prevalent in most markets where there's two types of opportunities for organization to, uh, to en enhance their uh, internet connectivity and experience. The first one is point-to-point -point wireless access where carrier links are available from the equivalent of a T1 to 100 megabits per second in a symmetrical fashion and you can actually break the dependence on wired connectivity and have high capacity links at the same time. And as for the ultimate uh, failover, the fact that 3G and now 4G links are available, uh, they're regarded as a viable tool to make sure that your key services can have access to the internet in case of complete uh, failure of all your other carriers. Saturation is resolved again by this diversification of carrier links but through a different angle. We wish to introduce the idea of using asymmetrical carrier links. Uh, asymmetrical means uh, the download capacity is not equal to the upload capacity. Example, a T1 is a symmetrical link uh, which is usually used for VPN, voice over IP, email and so forth. You have the same amount of download capacity as upload capacity. Those links are also commonly far more expensive than the asymmetrical links. The asymmetrical links bring a significant amount of value to the organization if used in the right context. So most of our customers are diverting to cable modems, DSLs, or SMB grade fibers, asymmetrical fibers, uh, web surfing as an example, and other type of activity to make sure that A, we bring a fast download experience to the whole organization, and B, that the critical links for the critical services are not taxed. So saturation can be resolved in this simple fashion. 
who uses this type of strategy? Um, Alfec has customers now in over 74 countries in any business vertical, in any geography, in any size. Our smallest customers start with 10 employees and our largest customers have thousands of employees. So it doesn't really matter from a size perspective or geography perspective, um, this kind of computing paradigm brings to the table the ability to conduct business in a sensible fashion and a cost-controlled fashion. Let me jump into the detail of how we actually make it happen. This is a common scenario where we have an office with staff, firewall, one internet link connected to the internet. What we wish we were to bring to the table is an LFIC link balancer. This device, inserted typically between the firewall and internet access links, will bring to the, to the organization the ability to add multiple carrier links. So the first benefits in this type of uh, environment is that multiple carrier links can be used at the same time in a seamless, transparent, secure fashion, and it's really easy to deploy. So once you've added capacity based on your specific needs, the saturation pro uh, problem should be resolved. If more saturation happens on the road, more carrier links can be added. In the case that you lose a carrier link, other carrier links will be available to resolve that problem in a seamless fashion and the, the key thing is that it's automated so there's no IT involvement whatsoever to make this happen when a carrier link fails. Most organizations these days are looking at central data centers, uh, cloud computing, or uh, the idea of removing servers from the branch offices. In a context where VPN or voice server applications are being deployed, such as central data centers and uh, VMware environments, virtualized environments, we may wish to bring to the table the idea of using an Elphic per site. Now, if we do this, we can actually bring multiple paths onto which traffic can flow left to right and right to left. So first thing we bring to the table is whatever connectivity you have going between two sites will be going much faster because you have a lot more bandwidth to benefit from. Now in the case of carrier link failures, as long as you have one link on each side, whatever traffic is, ha is being passed through uh, a session such as a VPN tunnel will not be interrupted so traffic will continue to flow seamlessly even if have links dropping on the left and on the right. From a cost perspective which is uh, in this day and age in this economy a very valid question how can we make this cost efficient? So most organizations these days in the SMB space, and you can retranslate the same scenario in the enterprise space with 10 or 100 megabit fiber links, uh, are using one carrier link. It's typically symmetrical link, reasonably expensive, but you need that ability uh, to conduct business. What we wish to bring to the table is diversification uh, to mitigate risk and also spread the saturation around. So in this sample scenario, we're combining a double bonded T1, which gives 3 megabits up, 3 megabits down, with a cable modem and a fiber connection. When we visit customers or we speak to organizations, regardless of the size, they're always a bit surprised that we bring those ideas to the table. But they work. The idea here is that we're bringing a lot more throughput for about $400 a month, which is a fairly insignificant amount of funds to spend to actually get this much benefit. Because in this specific scenario, we multiply by 34.4 times the download throughput capacity of the organization, and we multiply by 8.3 times the upload capacity. So employees and services are no longer at the mercy of internet links from an availability, availability perspective or saturation perspective. Diversification is achieved and uptime is maintained. How can you improve your networks and what next steps can you take after this presentation? The first one, we encourage you to give us a call at the numbers on the screen uh, to speak with one of our specialists to see how we can help your specific environment. In the case of uh, prefer people prefer to email, please do so at info at elfic.com and in this process, feel free to send us information, network diagrams, questions and so forth. Please feel free to try an Elfic unit online at elfic.com forward slash demo. 
check out our webinars please because we can delve into more details and if you wish to apply financial metrics for your organization and find out how much you can save and improve at the same time please visit ilfec.com forward slash roi thank you very much for uh, attending and viewing this presentation should you have any questions please feel free to reach us at any time